Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Tuesday, June 6, 2023. Let's take a look what is going on on the Forex economic calendar today. Overnight, unexpectedly, our RBA interest rate decision was made and the rate was hiked from 3.85 to 4. Point, uh, 10. This unexpected uh, decision caught the market participants uh, in a state of the surprise, which is why we are definitely going to take a look at the uh, Australian dollar chart later on. The rate statement was uh, produced at 6. Uh, 30. Construction PMI data from the UK are scheduled for release at uh, half past 10. Uh, IV uh, PMI is scheduled for release at 4 o'clock. This data are from the Canada and the market participants expect the uh, IV PMI to increase from 56.8 to 57.2 points. And at the end of the day, at 6 o'clock, we have the short-term energy outlook. Uh, from the US, uh, so we should um, take a look what is the natural gas and crude oil outlook uh, for the next um, month. So, very interesting day uh, ahead of us. We will definitely take a look at the Australian dollar uh, because of the unexpected interest rate decision. So, let's start doing this right now and switch to the Australian dollar chart. This is four hour Australian dollar chart, uh, as you can see uh, here, and uh, we have a very nice bounce uh, to the upside. So let's take a look how much the market retraced already you know, from the recent high. So that's the high, that's the low, and we can clearly see that the 61% level, uh, which is located here at one point, um, at uh, 6,688 pips, basically, has been hit. So the market retraced 61% of the recent uh, swing down, or even a little bit lower. Let me just adjust this this uh, movement here, uh, these levels here. There you go. So we definitely hit uh, the 61% Fibonacci level, 6,685 pips. This is where the level is, so you can see it clearly here. Now the market is still trying to move higher. Where is the next level? Well, the next level for uh, bulls is located at the 6,712 uh, level. This is the technical resistance. And there is one more, of course, which is located at 6,744. So this is very nice uh, supply zone. Nevertheless, please um, take into the uh, consideration that we are moving in a very uh, impulsive fashion to the upside, okay? That's the first thing. Second thing, we are trading above 50 and 100 periods moving average. We are testing 61% Fibonacci retracement. Now, we extended the rally towards the uh, level of uh, 6,680 back into the extremely overbought market conditions. We were that before uh, when the market hit the level of 6,641. Now this level will act as a technical support for the, uh, for the bulls. Uh, nevertheless, there is no bearish divergence yet. There is no clear bearish divergence just yet. So please keep an eye on the technical supports here, keep an eye on the moving averages and keep an eye on this red rectangle zone. Let me just put some kind of a rectangle here so everyone can see what I mean. This is that red rectangle. So please stay focused uh, when you will be, when you see the market moving inside the red uh, rectangle because it might be the last market move uh, to the upside and then of course uh, we might see some sort of the uh, some sort of the uh, let's say reversal for now as you can see the situation is very dynamic now the market is definitely getting rejected from the uh, from the 61 percent Fibonacci retracement but this is uh, uh, for uh, this is um, uh, for our time frame so we will definitely wait a uh, little bit more for this market to close 
this candle of course okay so that's the australian dollar let's take a look at the new zealand dollar because very likely this market will will be affected by the interest rate decision um not this time not that much not not uh, that much because the australian dollar was moving up new zealand dollar is still below the uh, technical resistance seen at the six thousand and uh, six thousand and uh, 103 pips we are below the 100 periods moving average slightly above the 50 periods moving average nevertheless this bounce here doesn't look impulsive at all so the level of uh, six thousand uh, oh well it's five thousand nine hundred eighty is still the key uh, technical uh, support uh, for the market participants and the level of six thousand and thirty six is still the um, key uh, short term technical support as well so that's the level that needs to be um, you know very very much observed by the bulls okay so this is the uh, technical support for the new zealand dollar right uh, let's now take a look at the crude oil because we are about to receive the uh, outlook from the e i a um uh, institution so what do we have here the first thing that we see straight on is the very very um strong reversal of the level of 63 69 yeah there you go we went higher now it's a very interesting situation when the local technical resistance 74 72 had been eventually rejected by the maru bozu candle in the form of the maru bozu candle we closed the gap the bounce was very shallow and now we are breaking to the downside we are already trading below 50 and uh, 100 periods moving average on the crude oil uh, chart so what's next the next is of course the technical uh, support the technical support is located at 67.04 uh, however there might be some sort of the reaction on the level of 69 point uh, point 40, 40 there was a nice breakout above this level never tested so maybe this time we will have the opportunity to uh, test this level and then we will see whether we will bounce up or break to the downside the market almost hit the extremely overbought conditions and now is sharply reversing uh, lower that's another situation uh, that you should expect uh, after the range bounded market this market doesn't go anywhere since the may 4th since the re uh, rejection and reversal of the technical support at 63.69 so right now horizontal trend is still being mm, applied to this market no we are waiting for the bigger breakout to either upside or to the downside and last but not least let's take a look at the bitcoin because we got very nice uh, price action uh, to the downside uh, just recently we broke below the technical support at 25,834 so now this level was violated the local low was made at the level of 25,442 so let me just zoom in to see what is going on here okay this uh, rejection doesn't actually looks like in a five ways more likely like, like in a three ways and um, i'm sure there will be some sort of the uh, bounce um, higher because we have this long shadows here um, this is like a <coughs> excuse me it's, it's not even like a, a hammer it's more like a kind of a pin bar of course pin bearish and candle made into the extremely oversold market a uh, condition so first pin bar second pin bar now the market is ready for a bounce to what 26712 level please notice we are trading below 50 and 100 periods moving average already and then and this breakout below the lows of the may 12 is another lower low during this very let me just zoom out during this progression to the downside uh, uh, after the 31,000 uh, dollars level was uh, rejected so from this high the market already made a correction of 
let me just put it here 18 percent so since the april 14th this year we are a 18 14 this year yes there you go uh we are 18 over 18 percent down on the uh, bitcoin the situation doesn't look that uh, much in favor of bulls however the extremely oversold conditions on the four hour chart might suggest some sort of a relief rally relief bounce towards the technical resistance at 25 26654 that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time so take care and bye bye <laughs>